And the European Union is the best example in the history of the world of conflict resolution. And that's one area that should often be studied and its principles applied to areas of conflict. When you look at the three principles at the, at the European Union, you'll find the same three principles at the heart of the quarrel, of the resolution of the quarrel in Northern Ireland, a quarrel that has lasted for 300 years. Principle number one, respect for difference. When you look at conflict, no matter where it is, what's it about? It's about difference, whether it's race, religion, or nationality. First principle of the European Union is respect for difference. Second principle is institutions that do that. Council of Ministers, all countries are there. Commission, European Commission, all countries are there. European Parliament, all countries are there. Then the third principle, which is in one sense the most important, the healing process. That instead of, as in the past, waving flags at one another or guns and bombs, they were working together in their common interests, the social economic development of Europe. They spilt their sweat and not their blood. And when you look, and that, as I say, when you look at the three principles now at the heart of our agreement in Northern Ireland, you'll find the same three principles. Principle number one, respect for difference. The identities of both communities are fully respected. Number two, institutions that do that. An assembly elected by proportional voting, which ensures that all sections of the people are fully represented. And secondly, that assembly proportionally elects the government of Northern Ireland, which ensures that all sections of the people are there. And then the third principle, when those institutions are in place, will be the healing process. They will be working together in Northern Ireland and in Ireland in their common interests, in the social economic developments, spilling their sweat and not their blood. And in a generation or two of working lap, there will be a completely new Ireland. 